hi on this video we will see how to add the cropper icon here and how to attach it with the fancy box plugin in order when you click on it you will see the fancy box appear and the cropper is ready so when you decide to crop any part of the image and click the crop button you will find that both the icon URL and the image has been cropped so let's see how we're gonna do it but first in case you have no idea how the cropper plugin works you should watch video number 19 from the previous course first before continue watching this video in order to be able to follow up a link for this video will appear on the screen at the beginning let's go to the iframe crop file and let's open the code behind page and this is the code that we have written before and up till now this page as it seems here receiving one query string which is the URL don't forget that each file inside the design file table has two physical files related to it the first one is the original image that saved inside the design subfolder located inside the images folder whereas the second one is the low res version which saved with the same name but inside the subfolder icons and since you intend to crop the image you have to crop its icon as well so our plan will be to delete the icon after the main image got cropped and saved then save a copy from the main image after cropping inside the icons folder then compress it afterwards to become a low res image but before everything we must prepare the page to accept two query strings instead of one as the second query string should be the icon URL and should be optional dim icon URL as string equals request dot query string icon URL and go here after the file saved successfully type here if icon URL is not nothing because in some cases we might need the iframe crop just to crop an image without cropping the icon URL like the profile photo for example which we haven't created a related icon URL for it so if icon URL is not nothing then do the following file dot delete I will first delete the icon server dot map pass icon URL okay then file dot copy I will copy the same server file name here which has been cropped successfully to server dot map pass the icon URL and since I have already deleted it I'm not gonna be worried about uh, returning an error because the file already exists and let's recompress it because this is a high res file so toolkit dot imaging dot resize image server dot map pass icon url 250 maximum width and 250 maximum height and as you might remember this line will refresh the parent page once you click on the crop button and close the fancy box iframe now let's go to the design because we want to add the crop icon here so let's go to the design dot aspx and after the dev delete thumb which is this one I will add another dev here so dev class equals dev crop image and inside this dev I will add a hyperlink so a href equals string dot format then mention the iframe files pass which is count folder iframe underscore crop question mark for the query string url equals curly bracket 0 and icon url equals curly bracket 1 and the following will be the value of the first parameter eval of file url and the second one will be for the second parameter which is eval of icon url okay and i will give this hyperlink a class equals fancy crop as i intend to refer later to this particular anchor by its name inside the design.js file data dash fancy box dash type equals iframe and this is very important in order to tell the fancy box that i don't want to open an image i want to open an iframe instead inside the hyperlink i will insert a span which has a class of fa fa dash crop okay then 
close the span okay if you search for this dev crop image inside the CSS file control F control V this is a style I have previously prepared for the crop it has an opacity of 0 0.7 and all of those properties now let's uh, rebuild our project and refresh the page here okay this is our crop button if you right click inspect it you can find here that this is a href account iframe crop with two query strings the first one is the url and the second one is the icon url but it seems that there is a mistake here okay now let's save all now let's click here okay now you can crop the image however we want to display this page inside an iframe window using the fancybox plugin and if you want to learn how to install and use the fancybox plugin watch video number 18 from the previous course now let's add the fancybox reference files inside our page at the end here I will go to the content folder and go to the jQuery.fancybox.css and for the JavaScript I will go to the scripts folder and go to the jQuery.fancybox.js and jQuery.fancybox.pack.js okay and this will not be enough be because I will have to go to the href here and copy the class name then go to the js folder design.js and within the on DOM ready type the following jQuery dot fancy crop dot fancy box and type the options inside we have only one option right now which is the width should be equal to 900 pixels okay save all refresh now let's click on the crop button okay now if you want to crop the image let's do a test here and crop this image and let's see what will happen I will crop just this area the dining hall okay click on the crop notice here that the icon has been successfully cropped and also the original image now if you decided to add a new image for example or a group of images and immediately crop it you will not find here the crop button as remember from the previous video that after uploading a new image all the old image icons got erased then a request sent to the server asking it for the updated image list then a new thumbnail elements got generated accordingly so in order for this to be complete we will have to add the crop icon as well inside this code so all I will have to do here is right click inspect and let's copy this crop icon after getting rendered this is a dev crop image and let's right click edit as HTML and copy this dev all together and add it here after the dev delete image so control V and I will have to format this so I will add a plus sign here and quotation then quotation at the end plus sign quotation and don't forget to change this one here to file dot file URL okay then add the plus sign add a quotation and continue okay now let's save all and refresh our page here now let's add a new image now it's okay as you can see the crop anchors got loaded successfully with the thumbnails thanks for watching if you like the video please press like